Sí. Sí. One, two, one, two. One two one two one two one one two one one. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ramon Dada Smith. Yeah, Kevin, that's all. Yeah. Should I wait on more people to do this introduction? I want everybody to be here before I start. All right, good. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ramon Dada Smith. I'm a drummer from Jamaica. I was born in the countryside of Jamaica uh, in the parish called St. Mary. In the district called Arakabesa. So I grew up there like from age one to 18. Then I moved into Kingston where I pursued my goal in, in music. Uh, I grew up in the church from a tender age, like from three three years old. Uh, my father usually played drums, <laughs> drums at church, you know, and I would watch him, and he would put me, uh, give me a stick to hold and put me on top of his lap, or inside his lap, and I would start to play until, I grew up seven days, so until I eventually started to play in that church. You know, that was like really an amazing experience for me as a youngster at that time, even though I'm still young. <laughs> but uh, it was a great time for me. After that, you know, I went into high school. No, before I went into high school, uh, I was in grade six. In Jamaica, we have this, uh, it's a competition where all high schoolers or people that is of the arts. Uh, it's called JCDC. So that's a competition where you know you have parish finals. For you in the US, it will be like a state thing. For us, it's like parish. Yeah. So uh, I was in like grade six. I think I was like 12 at the time, 11, 12 at the time. And I went to the competition as a singer at that time. I was singing alto. Uh, we won the competition. That was a great experience for me. After that, I went into high school. Uh, we were there, went to the music room. We began playing. I did the audition, I get you as a drummer. I got a chance to play with the choir. And that was a great experience for me again. JCDC again, you know, went to JCDC, this time as a drummer, not as a singer. So this was, this one was like super excited for me. Went there, after that, you know, play for my school choir, solos, all those stuff, we won. After that, I transitioned in, into becoming a musician now where uh, I had this friend of mine, so we were in the same community, and this guy legit like lived like seven minutes away from me, plays guitar. He was working at the hotel at, at that time, which is like 15 minutes away from us, called Beaches Bascobel. Uh, they were they were having like an award ceremony, something like that, yeah, and after that. Like he invited us to come jam with him. He's doing a song. I'm like, cool. When we went there, when me and my cousin went there, just Spang is a bass player. Uh, we're in a production company together right now called Dose Big Up. 
my family is funny. <laughs> my big cousin, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we went to the rehearsal and we were like, yo, these automation, they're crazy. You know, being in Jamaica is the first I ever like heard music, music like this because I'm from the country. It's like country music, you know? It's like um, we have like traditional music like mento, ska, rock steady, reggae, you know, dance. Uh, so I, I used to that culture like more of the mento. That's what I play at church. I play reggae at church. So it was, you know, type of that vibe back in the country. So, you know, these guy these guys was like playing jazz and stuff. So it was like, a mind-blowing experience for, for us. Like, yo, these guys are crazy. We found out, we were listening to a tour. Uh, tour was, uh, the artist is called Alberosi. He's from Europe, from Italy. So they were playing for Alberosi at the time, you know? We get to meet up with them. They were saying like, yo, you know, you guys could pass through. We like your energy. We play at this hotel every Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You can come any day you want. If you want to come, oh, no problem. I was like, wow, great opportunity for me to go listen to these skillful musicians play, you know, and try to get inspiration from them, which did happen. These guys changed my life, you know. Uh, days after days, going to listen to them, you know, that band separated me and the keyboard player and my cousin former band called Versus Adventures. Yeah, we. Now that is out of the way, me and my cousin start our, our own company. Uh, so these guys in Jamaica really inspire me over the years, you know. And they encourage me like to pursue a career in music. Because during that time I was my mom, my family was like, yo, my parents was like, uh, what are you gonna do? I'm like, yo, I don't know. I come from a country or like I like to cook. But I grew up, when I was in high school, we get a chance to choose like which subject you want to focus on. And I was like, I want to do foods. And foods and business, when you're going to into high school, those class is like first preference all the while. I'm like, yo, it's crazy. So I went into electrical installation it was kind of fun. Uh, I learned a lot. After that, after I did that, uh, I was like, what am I going to do? My parents is like pressuring me, like you need to find something to do. You, you finish high school. And I'm not really from like per se a wealthy background, you know what? It's like on a thin line, you, you have to figure your way out. <laughs> so like we were there and I'm like, cool. Let me try this, this food thing. And then after that now, I started to do, they had a program at the time when I was leaving high school called the CAP program. Uh, so I pursue of, I was say, I want to be a chef. Like cool. When they're realizing that this keyboard player from the same hotel lives in the same scheme, you know, and he was like, Yo, the money you need, you guys need to pass you. And then from that, I really shift my, my focus was shift from being like a chef, <laughs> even though I love cook, <laughs> you know, what I mean, I like, I like to cook, that's one of my hobbies, you know. But um, after that, you know, I started to go at this hotel like every Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. And, you know, I began to practice these guys, introducing me to, to musicians uh, overseas, like uh, Jill Scott, you know what I mean? Jill Scott and these guys, these musicians was crazy, like Adam Blackstone and bass and uh, George McCready, Spanky on drums. A big up Spanky, my virgin, big up herself. So, you know, I was listening to like, after that, just to fast forward back to a little bit earlier, like 
my uncle and my parents, they really shaped my, my whole career, you know, with like things that they were doing and nobody was like really knowing what they were doing at the time that they were really doing this for me. You know, the things, the material that they usually play in the house was like crazy, you know, some wow gospel type of stuff. Even though we were playing like strictly mental church and stuff, they usually play some like black American gospel. So, you know, we're there and stuff like that. Uh, my uncle usually play like from mental come right up from all of our folk music come right up to earlier. And he was a pastor, by the way. And he usually played like Greg Isaac and these people, you know, just reggae and mental and scare. So like I'm a rootsy, that, that really curved me in the way, in the direction that I play like right now with my concept, because it's like, it's mixing old school with new school because of what I usually listen to way back then, to what I'm listening to now, you know. So they, as a family, really carry my career as well, as well. And I'm really grateful to that, for that, you know. Yeah, so uh, after I, I moved to Kingston, I began uh, these guys again <laughs> uh, was saying, yeah, yeah, you could go pursue music. Get into some deep practicing, just locking out with myself from, you know, the outside world and just zoning in with my drums. After that, started in the Manly College of Divisional and Performing Arts in Jamaica, uh, pursue music. Started touring in 2015. That was my first tour with Chris Namdi, which is the artist I work with. Uh, my main artist I work with. Uh, our first, this one was a really, ex was a great experience for me. Because when I was my first tour, first time leaving Jamaica, you know. Uh, first time being in a, on a plane. <laughs> basically, as I like a country you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it was just crazy. We went to London. After I went to London, we went to Dubai. We stayed in Dubai for a day. Remember, I'm a country person. I don't used to this type of lifestyle. I'm like crazy, yo. And then we went to Africa, where we, we stayed there for an entire week, you know, and the same thing back to Jamaica, and this was in December. We left Jamaica like, uh, uh, let's say we left Jamaica, I think the 17th or 18th of December 2015. Yeah, 5.30 on that Friday afternoon. That was my real first flight. I remember the information, correct, yeah. But that was great because, you know, I get to go to Africa to visit the place where I'm from, I'm grateful, you know. And just to me putting in the work, practicing, realizing that, you know, music can really do this for me. And then it really got deeper than that. It was like, yo, how can I really impact people by the way I play? You know, how can I really inspire somebody? How can I speak into somebody's life? How oh, I'm trying to play from that spiritual level. How can I, you know, you're having a bad day, I need to brighten up your day, you know? I need to speak love into your life, whatever direction that is of good energy. That's what I always try to play from that place, you know? Uh, so it was a thing like that. Then I did my first US tour, uh, tour in LA uh, with Kez again. I think it was 20, this was 2016, 2017. We, we did that East Coast, West, East Coast, West Coast story. Uh, Kez. 
same 2017, I went to Europe again. I went to Europe for the first time uh, with Ibomar, with my cousin. So that was a great experience. First time being on tour as a dog was, you know, uh, it was great with the Dragon Keel hometown. These are you know, major, fix, uh, or major big reggae festivals in Europe. Uh, after we did that and some couple other shows, uh, I went. I went back on uh, US run with Kiss again. You know, we have, we have nice places in the US I went to. You know, great clubs. I remember two places though, like Red Rocks. I played at Red Rocks, I think in 20, 2018. I played at House of Blues, Boston. And I did. Uh, The observatory in Orange County, Cal uh, California. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did some great things. <laughs> Just looking back, you know. But I want to go like I want to explain like my ideas of how I really the concepts that I use. Uh, I have a nice song to play for you guys. I want to kind of explain how I play live and how I do my studio sessions and like how, how I really incorporate like rudiments and stuff I hear in my head, you know? Yeah. So I think I can start from like the studio sessions. Uh, so I can play this nice song for you guys that I did with a group from uh, from Portland. Uh, Portland in, uh, it's in Europe. Uh, with SZA, it's called I Grade. That was my first, it was like my first major, uh, major recording, I would say, because I'm like working with people outside of my peers. One, two, I'm working with, like, amongst big stars, you know. Uh, I was working beside Squidly. Squidly Cole, who is the drummer for Steve Marley. We shared the album together, so that was, like, crazy. I listened to that drummer from a longer time, you know what I mean? Uh, Bees, he was the guitarist for Ziggy Marley. We have a lot of artists as well. I was on the... Album. He, he played the guitars on the album, the bass player for Burning Spear. So that was crazy, you know. I like the great musician in the, in the industry. Uh, the keyboard is Sizzler. He's a producer, Mad Production. Um, Dale Aslam, another great bass player, phenomenal as well. Uh, played for Jimmy Cliff, Richie Spice. You know, so this album was like crazy. And with all the niceness, <laughs> with what music comes with, this session was like one of the sessions. Um, you know, I, I get to play like from a place like, you know, I'm playing what I really like. I was, I was grateful for the opportunity, you know, to express myself and the way I feel about the song. So I can like put my ideas like, oh, and that was a great thing, you know, to be working with these great musicians. And just to play, like to be creative, like that's that's crazy, you know. With these musicians, just to be creative. It's like I'm learning, it's like a learning process. And then at the same time, even though I'm learning, I'm still getting the opportunity of like really I need to play this this is what I'm feeling I need, I need to get this out so it was like along that side you know so we, I did I think I did five songs on the album you can look them up you can stream their music they're called I Grades yeah and I think the name of the album is the introduction of I Grades 
yeah, I think that's the name of the album. And I can I can give you the name of the songs I played. I played on there's a song, there's a ska song on it. There's like a rock steady song on it. There's like a R and B fused reggae on it that I did. Uh, there's like a rude boy type of style reggae on it. I did. So you could go and check them out. You know what I mean? They are wonderful. Yeah. I agree. Introduction. That's the title of the album. You could check them out. And I can tell you, I can give you the like the name of the song. I don't know how maybe I can uh maybe I can post the names so everybody could see it. Maybe I could do that in a short while. Uh, but yeah. Let me get to the song. So I play a song on the album, which is the second song, by the way, which is called One Love, uh, which features uh, Sizzler. I agree. So let me see if I'm getting any audio. Uh, once you're hearing something, I'm going to test it first so that I'm sure this is working properly because, you know, technology and the time that we're living in now can fail us uh, you know, just in a split second. <laughs> so I need to make sure that Everyone is hearing this. And then I will start it from top. You know, once I get the indication that it's coming through properly and you guys hear me, no problem. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, everyone is good, right? All right, all right, let's go. I think I think I have audio right now. Just let me know if you're hearing the audio playing in the back slightly. You're at the lowest stage. You got rice in this coming age. Forget about the past and turn a new page. We grow in strength. So we just have to be wise and intelligent. Ah, uh, yeah. One, two. One. One. One, two. One. I want 
don't really care if you don't believe Jack creates us all if you just believe Survival is a key and it's working for me I know partner that talk is cheap Don't try run first and how to creep Pick up all the journey that you need to reach Stay away, be strong and don't fall asleep They say that people make the world go round But all around the world people falling down Politicians they trick us, take us for clowns But I know that I'm bound to rise, 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 rise. When you think you're at the lowest stage, you gotta rise in this coming age. Forget about the bad and turn a new page. We grow in strength to strength. We just gotta be wise and be intelligent to overcome the evil in an event. Why it takes a step when it makes no sense. Don't stress at all if you can't pay your bills. Remember that we only have one life to live. You got to make changes, learn how to feel. From the pressures of the system that can get you killed We got to learn to live in this world as one A man is just a man, no man stand alone Always keep a smile when you walk in the streets Smell sweet, looking neat, no shoes on your feet Right, right, I'm so not to the one who's falling down and I, 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 I believe in love can talk to one on the love Can conquer the hate inside to set us free So I believe Somewhere up is all there for you and me Get a brush off and fight again A lot of obstacles for life doesn't end You gotta show love, no time to pretend Put away the hate of your love, we are dead <laughs> That's all we know, hey this world was created for you and I Why the restrictions won't just cry The heads of the system telling you lies The people getting crazy, they're wondering why Can't blame anyone for the things they do These things couldn't happen if you were true We would understand, wouldn't be confused Now no other choice but to rise Rise, rise, rise So love to the one who's falling down and I I, I, I believe that love can talk to one on the love Can conquer the hate inside to set us free So I believe somewhere love is all there for you and me Rise, 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 rise So love to the one who's falling down and I, 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 I Two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, yeah, uh, yeah, so that was on two, everybody hear me, right, yeah, so that was, uh, I agree, it's, it's Sizzler, yeah, yes, Kevin, uh, a lot of drummers, you know, I can start, I'm going to start with Jamaica, with Jamaica because of the long list I have, you know, with the drummers from Jamaica who really influenced me, even my peers, you know, it's grateful to have them amongst me, you know, my best friend, like, and my next friend, uh, Pele, Young Son, Dorian, all of, the guys, all of these guys, like, they're like brothers, you know, they, they, they've been a 
a real inspiration to me as a drummer. And they're all our drummers, you know, crazy drummers too. I was tired. So you hear about my brothers. So I was tired like, with all the guys. Uh, definitely. Slide on bar is one of my favorite. He's very influential on my playing. Carlton Barrett, Bob Marley drummer. Uh, he's good. He's great. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Devon Richardson. You know. Uh, here's this next drummer. You know, he's crazy. Ah, uh, Lloyd Nibs. Yeah, he's a scat drummer. Like, I listen to him a lot. It's called because of, like, things. We about, like, um, scatterlights and those groups. You know, I listen to them. And I was fortunate, by the way, uh, my lecturer, he played with Dennis Brown. So he played with Light Box and We The People Band. So that band usually... Uh, back Dennis Brown so it's like I'm getting a first and experience of you know that's my lecture so and Stewie as well big up big up Mr. Stewart uh he also played with uh a lot of, a lot of iconic people you know uh that he played with uh, big youth and those people they're yeah, great artists you know, great mission. Trust me, I learned a lot from these two uh, drum lectures, you know, going to Edmund Lee, where I studied, me and Kenny and my brothers, you know, we call ourselves Kiapos. <laughs> but yeah, Style Scott, uh, Uncle Desi, okay. oh my God, Uncle Desi, big up yourself. Yeah, you usually play for uh, Chalice. That's a, not a great band, you know. Uh, and you usually play with uh, Jimmy Cliff as well, with the old school band, with Dale as well, with the guy that played bass. You know, he's great. So, yeah, those drummers. And then you have, like, you know, Kirk. And then you have my general, big up yourself. <laughs> Mark, big up yourself, that's Shaggy's drum, you know? Yeah, and then you have like Oliver, Spanky, you know, um, you have some guys in the country that was like crazy musician. So the, the amount of talented drummers or musicians in Jamaica is like, it's unbelievable. You know, you can stay right there and get great inspiration. So I can't remember everybody's name on the top of my head right now. You know, but yeah, that's from Jamaica, isn't it? Uh, and then you now you'd have, you know, our international drummers, you know, which would be Billy Kabam, Dave Wickle, Calvin Rogers, you know, Stick Steeler. Big up yourself, sticks. Devon Taylor, big up yourself. My friend, you know? Yeah. These crazy drummers, you know, from the states that I really look up to. Rex Audi, Brian Fraser Moore, you know, CJ Underdog, you know, great musician. These are musicians that really inspire me. Billy Kabam and all these other guys, you know, really. Tony. I really look up to these guys. Uh, I think he had one more. Oh, yeah. So the other thing, the drums that I used to do these tracks. All right. So as I said, this session was like a life-changing experience for me. It was like, so this session now was a session that I had like six, seven snares. And I have to choose which one. So it, like it's the same day recording. I didn't get any material. I just went in the studio. I went to the studio from nine o'clock 
and I didn't leave the studio until four in the afternoon because I had another gig too as well. So I, I just play my tracks and then I leave, you know, because they just play down the tracks and then the guitarists and the keyboardists, they overdub and stuff. So like I was there, you know, we, we did like two rehearsals for like the track. So we run the track through, I figure out the role that I'm going to do, all this stuff, we're there. And I was like, yo, this snare, I'm hearing this snare. So it was a snare that on the drum, it was a Yamaha Stage Custom, I think. No, it was a Yamaha Recording Series, sorry, my bad. It sounds really good, uh, even though like, you know, yeah. <laughs> but sounds really good. So what I did, I like put a kerchief over the snare and you know, I have a natural depth, like really nice. Then I recorded with that. The fun part about this track was like, I use the XPDX, so it was like trying to merge technology with like digital world with analog, yeah, that type of way. So I, I kind of like overdubs. I did some synth rolls with the toms and I did like, I used a snare of like a final, like a real deep snare. So you hear my snare the snare from the uh, pad, and then there's a synth tom. So I'm using like three three sounds, like the original sound, the snare sound from the pad, plus the tom sound from the pad, hitting the snare on the tone four, and then I roll with the synth tom as well with the timbali. Yeah, so that was like kind of my setup for, for that session. Uh, Cassie is asking a question. All right, so like when I'm practicing rudiments now, like I really, like I really do, I spend enough time trying to learn the rudiments and try to like use it and try to put it anywhere. So like I will play. I'm gonna demonstrate it to you, but I'm gonna explain it first. So like I would take like Pardil for example, and then I will just do just half a Pardil in a regular field. So it's just like some weird concept sometimes, like how I start and where I hang and how it feel, if it, you know, it's been swing or straight, whatever I'm feeling. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration, show you how how I play paradiddle and utilize it, or how I do, oh, I can be any rudiment for me, yeah. Um, I like to experiment, putting stuff in different places and stuff. I don't want, I'm taking out the volume of this mic so the drums can be okay. Good, one, two. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys what I mean by that. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start off with Pardiddle. I'll show you how I use it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. So, all right, I'm going to show you how exercise and then how I utilize it. And then I will just show you how I do it inside of it. So parallel.
things call it that. So like I do those stuff and try to slow it down and move it around, you know. So I will show you how I can use like a pardon inside a groove just to break down what Cassie was asking, you know, how I make it my own. So it's like taking parallels from that and making it my own now. So when I do recordings or when I'm playing, that's my chops. That's kind of like influenced by me or by some other person or something. But that's my way of concept of doing something, you know. So I think I'm going to play it on the groove and then play the paradiddle inside the groove. You could use it that way, you know. It's just just based on your concept that you're doing, basically, and what you want to achieve. And then you could use it like in whatever, whatever music you're playing. Just try to be creative and make whatever you use in your own. You know, I can show you other rudiments that I use to. I can go with the six stroke roll. Where I get creative is like mixing paradiddles with with six stroke roll into like a reggae or whatever I want to play. So I can show you again. That's another one, <laughs> yeah. But those, those are the type of things that I really. Yeah, uh, those are the type of things I do, Castel and I, in my crazy world. I try to make, mix, match things, <laughs> you know, take things from, Side right to side B, try to make it work, try to break it down in my head. You know, I even write up patterns like and try to divide the notes properly. You know, uh, yeah, Ryan. Oh, I got my nickname, Dada. Well, I was I was at school at the end of my college. Uh, we're in a class every Friday. We have like a master class where all the drummers from whatever year so we have from pq 
means that you're a beginner, like freshman year, like, yeah. Uh, then you have your one year, two year, three year, four. Uh, so that on Friday, everybody is in the class at 10 o'clock to 12. So every drummer is in that class. So we're there, Mr. Stewart, you know, they for like big youth and those other artists. Yeah, he's a lecturer there, him and Mr. Richardson. Uh, they were there. It was Mr. It was Derek class. Mr. Stewart, Derek Stewart class. And we were there and he was like, you mm, want everybody to sing like a jazz phrase. He was playing like a jazz swing, like, and he was singing how to sing a phrase. And I was like, Idada, 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 Idada. I was singing triple it. I can demonstrate it for you again. It was like, Idada, 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 Idada. And it was like, Idada, Idada. As of today, your name is Dada. I'm like, wow. Daddy, Dada, cool, mom, <laughs> sick. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was something like that. It was nice. So, from ever since I took on that name, I will show you. What I was talking about that phrase. So it was a jazz class. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, let's go again. So it was something like that. I was singing to him, Itada, 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 Itada. <laughs> Yeah, whatever way you want to put it, phrase it. But the snow, it's Itada. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's how I got the name. You know, uh, I can I could take, you know, like on the journey with kids. I, I really, I'm grateful to be doing music with this. With this person, because, like, you know, he's a young person who is fighting for righteousness and to uplift young people. And a lot of young artists is not really doing that. They're more caught up in the hype of the music and all those stuff. So it's like educating you and showing them, like, yo, you could live a better way. You need to treat your lady like this, whatever it is. It's stuff along that line of righteousness, you know? Yeah, so, and not only that, he's a perfectionist and like, we'll be at it, like, yeah, let's get this part. Two, he believes in talent. And I'm grateful for all these solos I've been getting on, this, on these past tours. Like, I'm great, I'm super grateful, you know? So I'm always in that spot where I get to, like, I get to express myself how, how I really want to. I've been thrown into a situation like I was playing for the Jaguars. This is like this is like soca band in Jamaica at the time. You know, cause we, 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 did, we do soca music as well. That's a part of our history that a lot of people don't really talk about. But we have like Byron and the Jaguars. Mr. Stewart usually play for them as well. Mr. Derek Stewart, who is the one of the lecture, drum lecturers that Edna Manley, the college. He usually played for them as well. I went on a tour in Tartola. We did a festival there. Uh, you know, I get solos, but I couldn't get to like play and feel like, because there are all the time musicians and you know, certain things you do might throw them off. So my one not necessarily be their one. So the thing of that, and that perspective that then I took that I know, like, yo, I can't be really clean like that. When I get the time to solo, I solo, but I still bear in mind that I have to come back and make sure I acknowledge the one, 
you know, with my younger peers, I can acknowledge the one I can. I, you know, it's up on my feeling, but everyone will be on the same page. You know, because sometimes you just feel that different vibes, but the pulse is still there, though. But it's just not acknowledging certain things. So, yeah, you know, I did some shows with them. But uh, kids now, like, we're on the road, we're touring. Uh, we were in San Francisco, and he was making this album, you know? And he was like, yo, Dada, I need my album. And I was like, cool. Zine. Because I think I did a show that night, and, you know, I had a wonderful time. Every night, every time I play music, is a different experience for me. And I'm really grateful for that. Uh, so I had a great solo that night, great show. He was like, yo, let's take the studio in the morning. I'm like, cool, let's go. And, you know, we're in San Francisco. Uh, we go to the studio session, sending Ryder. That was a great time for me. First time being in a studio and I have to be sending in Ryder. Wow, this is great. A lot of people, a lot of little legendary people record there. I was like, cool, mod. Like it. I tuned the drums. And I played a track of the album called Bloodline, which is the type of track of the album. So I'm grateful for that as well. And it's one of my favorite songs of the album. Uh, it's called Bloodline Featuring Martimo. We did this session in San Francisco. It was a great session. I had a gummy bear, a weak gummy bear, and I was super high. And I was like in my zone creating. This track, it was a mind-blowing experience. This album came out. Uh, this album came out this year, 2020. I think it was in March. I think it was in March, yeah. Bloodline, that's the title of the album. The artist, Kes Namdi, that's the artist I, I work with. That's my main artist, I would say. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's go. So this is a third song. I'll be by your side. I'll comfort and protect you. I'll teach you what is right. I'll use it as a I'll be by your side. I'll comfort and protect you. I'll teach you what is right. I'll use it as a right. We love giving high. We are the light. So let's go. We're talking about responsibilities. We're talking about recreation after school activities. We're talking about building the talents and abilities. Talking about nursing school to graduate in colleges. Being there no matter what it is. To the rough times and the challenges. The media full of tech and jealous. We're focused on salaries. Let's go to those families. The face in our realities. And how we spend the time is protecting from these countries. I'll be by your side. By your side. I'll comfort and protect you. I'll teach you what to try. I'll use it as the right. We love getting high. Even if you're the last. So, as you're the last. We come to the office and the cat is keeping guidance. Working all day and night to fix the finance. 
for me to be seen to lose my self-reliance Without Jesse David, couldn't slow the giant Come on, come on, come on, Giving and you sharing Up your red job is wearing Protecting and preparing Young girl, what you wearing Young boy, stop this wearing Go as this up there Never you ignore me Yeah, so that that was bloodline. You know, that was a great experience again. Yeah, another great experience I had was from the former band that I was a part of. You know, just being there and making albums. That was another great experience just to make music. Even now I'm like really enjoying music. You know, my cousin my virgin just making music right through this time. <laughs> So you could look out for those production coming your way soon, you know, with some nice music of this time, <laughs> free your mind. But yeah, give thanks, Kevin, you know, it's a blessing it's to, you know, share my knowledge and stuff like that. I can play, I can see if I can find a video from a tour, just maybe to play like, just to elaborate on what I was doing with all these rudiments and stuff. I could play like a clip from the tour of one of my solos, you know? Yeah. Uh, so let me just play you a nice clip from, from from my uh, from my tour, and that would be the last video. You know, uh, if you need, I'm available for classes and stuff. You know, if you need to book private lessons to break down more, you know, stuff that I do. You know how to get it, right? I'm sure everybody is accustomed to using this platform. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I found, I found the video of one of my solos just to break down how, how I use certain things. So this was a uh, Mystic Theater. I think this was in uh, California. Yeah, and the Tory Calibers. So I'm going to give a little snippet from the solo, and then I will just uh, wrap up this live. So let me go and give you, just to elaborate on what uh, Cassie was saying about rudiment and how I make it my own. You know, I'm just going to share like stories with you. Walk up to the two, two, yeah? Two, six, six. 
So that was a little slippet from, you know, that's from tour. Uh, it was great talking to you guys. Great sharing my experience, you know. I hope to talk to you guys soon. Blessings to Kevin, Hasia, everybody that is a part of this, everybody that is here. I give thanks to share my knowledge with you guys. Can't wait to do this next time. This was a fun experience for me. Bless up. One love, Dada Drums. You could follow me on Instagram at Dada Drums with a Z. Much love and respect, love and light. Looking forward to the next one. Z, blessings. <laughs>